Hi everyone, welcome back to day two of Manny Bootcamp. Today we're gonna to learn how to start painting. So we have all of our polishes here. In your bootcamp box, you'll notice all your polishes are organized in order from easiest to most challenging. So it says start here, so we're gonna start here. I chose BEB as my beginner shade. It's a sheer white. So before we start painting, let's talk about Poppy. This is Poppy. It's our universal polish bottle handle. It's made out of rubber silicone. It's weighted so that when you hold it in your hand, it can help reduce shakes, which is super important, especially if you're a beginner and feeling a little bit nervous or you're over caffeinated. This is designed to fit over any nail polish bottle in your collection. And it was designed to make it so much easier to paint with your non-dominant hand. We've all been there. You have one hand that looks super, super neat and perfect. And then you have one hand that looks like it was painted with your eyes closed. Poppy's gonna solve all those problems. Next, let's talk about polish levels. Our polishes are broken up into three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. We always recommend that you start with the beginner shade first. Those are our shears, our metallics, our glitters. They're super forgiving. If you make a mistake, you can't really tell. Um, and it's a great way to learn how to paint your nails. So, first we pop off the overcap, like so. And you'll notice that our brushes have this handy dandy little notch here. To put Poppy on your brush, you wanna line up the flat side of the brush with the flat side of Poppy. So do what I like to call the Poppy shimmy, down like so. And I like to leave a little bit of the inner cap showing just like that. Sometimes people get super excited to use Poppy. I don't blame them, but they can push down too hard and then your brush might get stuck a little bit. No big deal, but save a little room just like that. Makes it so much easier. And now you're ready to start painting. Again, always keep your hand nice and steady and flat on this work surface like this. To begin, gently unscrew the cap. I like to lift the brush out of the bottle, wipe one side of the brush against the neck of the bottle, and then that side's loaded up with polish. If your nails are more narrow or shorter, you might need to just boop a little bit of polish off like that. Keep your hand nice and flat on the surface of your table. I like to start the brush in the middle of my nail, press down in the middle like that, and then push down towards the base of your cuticle, and then pull the brush back like so. Then I like to hit the two sides just like that. And there's my perfect first coat. We'll do that again. Dip the brush in the bottle, wipe one side of the brush against the neck of the bottle, and then you're ready to paint again. Start in the center of the nail, press down, push towards the base of the cuticle, pull back, and then hit the two sides. The reason why we say start in the middle of your nail is to avoid a flooded cuticle. A flooded cuticle is when you basically try to get too close to the cuticle with your polish and it ends up creating like a little pool or puddle at the base of your cuticle like that, that's a flooded cuticle. A flooded cuticle is basically the number one giveaway of an at-home mani gone wrong. So what we like to do is leave a little gap. Only you will notice it, but it will definitely make your polish look way neater. It gives it a much more professional look. When it comes to the thumb, I like to rest it on my fingers like this, just to give it a little bit more of a steady surface. Wipe it, center of the nail, push down towards the base, pull back and hit the two sides. When you're painting your nails, the most important thing you can do is wait at least five to 10 minutes between each coat. This will make sure that your first coat dries super well, it'll make it so your polish lasts much longer, and you will avoid getting those super annoying little bubbles that can happen. Waiting five to 10 minutes is key. Once you've waited five to 10 minutes, you're ready to apply your second coat. Lift the brush out of the bottle, like so. When it's your second coat, start the brush there at the base of your cuticle. You basically already have that foundation layer set, so you kind of just color by numbers. Awesome. Shears are really forgiving. You definitely want your coats to be super thin, and you can't really tell if you get an imperfect coverage with a shear like this, which is why it's perfect to start with. But it also gives such a pretty polished look, which I love. It's like lip gloss for your nails. And then we'll go for a second coat here. A 
Looks pretty good, you guys. All right, once you've done two coats of polish, you're ready for top coat. This is our top coat. It was formulated to work with our polish, so definitely use them together. When you use our polish and our top coat together, you're gonna get the longest lasting, shiniest mani ever. With top coat, you always want to do, just as you would with polish, a thin coat. It can be really tempting because it's so shiny and beautiful and glossy to want to really glob it on. But if you do too thick of a coat of top coat, you can get these little micro bubbles. So a nice thin coat of top coat, just like you would for polish. And I don't really use poppy for top coat because it's clear, so if I make a mistake, you can't really tell. But if painting with top coat and poppy makes you feel better, totally go for it. You can see it really transforms the Manny makes it super shiny, almost gives it this like 3D gloss. We also recommend that you reapply top coat every two to three days throughout your Manny. We'll reinforce it with beautiful strength. It also gives it this brand new shine. It'll look like you just redid your nails. And then don't forget to really tightly close that cap and you're good to go. Day two, painting with beginner shades. You did it.